A name for your judge, Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is going to do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And watch out for the cops.
I'm assuming we ain't grabbing a beer after this. Cover. You never see it coming. Idle prick. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. There's a report of an armed Negro male in River Row. Look into it if you like. Out in River Road. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out to you. One car is promised. Appreciate it. <laughs> If you're ready to move against Lou, get in. I got a beat on him. You want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. That is to keep holding him one goddamn piece to laugh to that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid, all that shit. 
This goddamn casino got me tapped, do you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou, get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacob's is gonna do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> Gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Yeah, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on, what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper. Boom. It hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 40-60, but still. By the blood of the Lamb, I know my soul, he said. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but be granted eternal life. Hell fucking yeah! That's the Holy Spirit working right there.
Let's get you upstairs. You'll fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident.
Move. I will not have my re- That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step and he gets it. Can you think I give a shit about some politicians? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on!
listen. I got money. You can have it. All of it. Just don't kill me. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yeah. Anything. Oh, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Almighty. State Senator Walter Jacobs was killed this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Yeah. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! Lou's dead. They found him tied to that statue of Andrew Jackson over the French ward. He was gutted like a goddamn catfish. Jesus Christ, Pops. Uh, I... This was that goddamn nigga, Lincoln Clay. We wouldn't be in this fucking mess if you'd done what you were supposed to do. You were there. I shot him right in the head. Once! Oh, that... You shot him once! Son of a bitch! Oh, this is just what I fucking need. Holden's dead. Jacob's dead. Christ, without them, this casino isn't going anywhere. Unless I can figure something out. Well, what about the governor? What about him? Wasn't he into us a while back? What, for them hookers? Yeah, but he paid all that off. But I still got the pictures. It's gonna take more than pictures of him humping on some broad to swing him around on our side. You understand? A lot more. You always call Leo Galante. No, 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 no. Fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything. Damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a call. Leo! Yeah, Sal. <laughs> How the fuck are you? Yeah, listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. You and I are on the line here, Lincoln, and I'm expecting good things. I don't give a flying fuck who has what rockets. This turf, it's mine, goddammit, and I won't accept anything else. I'm gonna ask you to be patient, Burke, and give everyone a chance to weigh in on this. I'm sorry Burke is pissed off. Really, I am. But, Lincoln, you called in my men to lock this turf down for you, and it'd be a slap in the face if you tried to take it away. This is where we're at, pal. If for some ungodly known reason you still want that goddamn Mick around, then give him the fucking turf so we'll quit his belly aching. You cooked things up this far, but you can still make it right between. The Mick can cry all he wants. You know what? Folks in the holler expect us to stick together. I'm towing the line, Lincoln. Go against me here, and I make the right. I gave you, Richard. Gotta do what's best for everyone, Burke. 
This part of the city is gonna go to Cassandra. What a sad, miserable fool I am for ever believing in you. But there will be no more of my foolishness. The next time I see your black hide, it will be at the end of my goddamn gun. You and Burke have history. People between you. But you gotta forget all of that and deal with this. Quickly. The Mick is gonna be a problem. Until he ain't. Understand? If Burke can't fall in line, ride things out when they don't go his way, then he's not the partner we need. I'll deal with him. I need a vehicle in South Downs. For fuck's sake, I want no part of this shit storm between you and Burke. Solve that one way or another, and then we'll talk.
I need resupply and point for done. Going at you. Hang tight. Everything you see is for sale. Show me what you got. Don't. I'm out of here. Send someone to Point for Dunn to pick up my cash. Hold your horses. I'll get to you. Need to make a deposit, Better not lose this. Going straight to the bank. Welcomed him in as if he were fucking family. Look what happens. I'm so pissed, I can't even get a good goddamn buzz going. Seriously? Nothing but Pachin, Wayne, pills and strange for five days straight. Don't feel a goddamn thing. Devil ought to be pounding your door in. Or he's failed to me my own way. Shit! Fuck! Uh, 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 fucking bitch! Uh, 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 fuck up that lame fucking bastard! Fucking bastard won't be back. Did no one else see him? Go and search him, mate! No. Let's look over here, then. Oh! There! There! What the shit? What the shit? What the shit? Stop another one! We've got company.
go ahead. Blast his frickin' head off. Hey, go check it out over there. Hawkering oh! 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 Nope. Let's look over here then. Not going down alone. Oh, oh damn. Oh damn it all the hell. Oh. You're a hell of a shot. A grudge at that. You didn't oh. have to be this way, Burr. Oh. I know who I am, lad. What I am. You look in the mirror, wanting to see the man you should be. Hoping that if you catch a glimpse of him, it'll help you turn things around. But wishing on something, don't make it so. <coughs> no matter how hard you try, it's always the same worthless piece of shit gazing back at you. <coughs> oh. What do you want me to say to Nikki? Oh, the truth. Not that it'll come as any goddamn surprise to her. She'll be all alone now. You know what that means. They'd be better than anyone else. Just be a good lad and keep an eye on her, all right? Keep her safe. She deserves that much. You have my word, Burr. Just go to... Just go to... Just go to... Just go to somewhere for a moment. Have you seen that new movie where the apes take over the world? Scary fucking shit. It can get a bit loud around here at night, but I think it's mostly harmless. Mary made me take it to the opera one time.
We need to talk. You son of a bitch. He... Listen, Berg didn't leave me any other choice. Fuck you! I'll keep working with you, but it's only because I need the goddamn money. We clear? Yeah. Sure. My dad was never an easy man to get along with. I get that. So my only hope is that you... You did what had to be done. No way around it. Right? Done and I need a new set of wheels. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. I'm in point but done, and I need a new set of wheels. Aye, I'll get her out to you right away. Four wheels and an engine. You're set. Appreciate it. I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. This friend will meet you. Is it someone I know? Nah, ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. A man by the name of Connor Aldridge. Remember the name. Two of you had some kind of falling out. To fall out would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of it. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Ooh. 
Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshal here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Bertie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Let's go. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee. God damn. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? That is not... Almana. What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order, and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. We need to secure the upstairs. Yes, we do. And pray to God Balman is still breathing. I'd say it's not looking good. I'll cover you boys from down here. Hey, you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's his brains. Hey, this fella down here has got his brains and his frijoles. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. Mana could be upstairs. Let's go. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already a nom, but I heard about it. Balmana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. Don't let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. Come on, man. Get out of here. <laughs> we got some questions for you. Come meet my friends. Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Was well, that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> uh. 
Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You don't forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name, Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. <laughs> mean anything to you. Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Stand up. Ready? We need to get to the safe house. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich had some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long. A little rusty behind the wheel, Lincoln? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. A little rusty behind the local PD isn't looking too happy. Subscribe to the Colour Mail. All units converge. All units, negative visual on subject. Anyway, you and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn brunt. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us, but we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine.
Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! <sighs> What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! Motherfucker whose brains I'm gonna rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. They're gonna kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. Hmm. Huh. Getting down! More of these. Got him now! They're killing our people! Stop. Maybe the next flight. They won't let me move! You won't let me move! It's gonna blow! Hold it! You're a fucking animal! Shit, I'm taking cover! Shoot him from the face! Is that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those commie sympathizers? Yeah. How well? <laughs> Fucking smart mouth cocksucker! Just Sneaky. made it hard on the set! That's all of them for now. You stepped in it now! Eyes up! Get over here! Quick! Over here. Once this area locked down. down. Hey, son. Oh, 
slide on the moment <clears throat> open free from the other side. You got it? You got it? But make it snappy. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Thing. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking All right, all right. All right. All right. Just... Oh, you fucking coward. He's gonna kill you regardless. Attaboy. <sighs> Gotta be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. God damn it! Fuck! Come on! Open, god damn it! Motherfuck! and get this door open. God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck! What the hell is this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldrich talking about a plane. 
Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. This man, Connor Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldridge was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in to Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Pius. in the bayou and I need transportation. Aye, I'll get her out to you right away. Four wheels and an engine, you're set. That's a big help.
Men are on their way, we need to move. One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldrich's men are moving towards Paez as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paez works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Wash Rose. All right, we'll get there right quick. How exactly does an old money shop like West Rose end up employing a Cuban exile working for the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. You motherfuckers call me a criminal. Come on! Come on! My grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. There's West Rose. Your son Aldridge's Mercs. This hour, Paez should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Let's get in there and find him. We're closed! Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Paez, where is he? Look, last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There's some real assholes on their way here. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah. But you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Hey, pal. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit! Thanks! You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? You motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. Quiet as a mouse. Tell me what the fuck this is about. It's about you, a bunch of your Cubano pals, and one goddamn nuke. Oh, and I can assume that they want me dead and you want me alive. You most certainly can, brother. Motherfuckers over here! Shut up. He's popping us off! Ah! Get him down! Ah! Get him off! Ah! He's popping us off! Getting more bullets! <laughs> Stay down, asshole! Ugh, fuck! Shit! Lincoln, I have to get shot! Can you move? I'll be okay. Come on, we need to keep moving. Don't let me move! I'll take this bastard. That's the goal! Damn, damn it! Hell no, Brayden! That's the goal! You won't let me move! Getting down! Both. We're falling apart. 
about two. I'm not gonna let one <coughs> I'm fucking good at me I'm down. Taking cover. You both <laughs> I'm in shooters from the stage. handle the shooting from here on. <laughs> hey, no argument for me. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Paez, you're riding shot. Lincoln. I'm on it. You read my mind. Let me replace this uniform. Eso cabrones. Ah, uh, coño. On the right. That's been fun, fellas, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna need a doctor now. Cold. Hold tight. We'll get you patched up. We need to get him inside. Uh, Hold on, buddy. Uh, uh, we brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Uh, Tell me your name. Oh, Ruben. Ruben, well, lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield medals. Do uh, 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 you know what that means? No. It means you're going to be just fine. Uh, Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is going to hurt. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hey, 
Oh. Your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah. We know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Uh, last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and 87.9 uh, degree longitude. Where the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles. So we arranged to meet the Russians uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I gaggle into madre, huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Get your boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey! Oh, you bastard. Boats fueled, our course charted. Ready when you are, Captain. Right then. Let's go get that motherfucker. Still be there. He will be. Has to be. All right, man. Enough. We were running all over the goddamn place. It's about time you tell me what went down between you and Aldrich. It's 1963. I'd been in country a little under two years. Monday, John. Chongqing, Shaq. Stay out of this, Johnny. That's not exactly my style. Chong's not coming. What did you do? Let's just say Chong had a little accident. Fell down a very deep well. But not before he spilled all your dirty little secrets. Like how you've been feeding intel to the NVA? The U.S. government executes traitors, you know that, right? Fuck you. I'm hoping they'll hang you, but I will settle for a firing squad. Let's go. to shoot things over with the NVA. So why don't you tell me where those SOG recon teams are headed? <laughs> you really think that I didn't pass on what Tron told me? Right now, every morn in your little circle jerk is being rounded up. I always thought the company was halfway decent at screening out dumbasses. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Uh, that's funny. That's real funny. <laughs> Before he could go to work on me, a couple MPs showed up. They heard the shot and came running. And Aldridge escaped. He's a slippery little fucker, I'll give him that much. Come on, let's go find that goddamn piss ant. <laughs> oh, 
Let's move to high ground, get eyes on the situation. Got intel on this place? Used to have a decent fishing industry, but that died off a while ago. Residents relocated to the mainland. Island's been abandoned ever since. Like Aldridge and his men went this way. Heard it was a whole squad of mother. Nah, that's a load of shit. It was two guys. You're telling me two guys took out that many of our men? I'm telling you, it was two guys who took out that it's many of our here. guys. And it's those same two men who are likely heading here. Huh. Why is it not? Got it, no! uh, they've got any more buddies. They're in the wind. Feast your eyes on the town of Hermosa Pez, or what remains of it anyway. Looks like Aldridge's merc set up camp by that old church. Someone must be in charge down there. We should see what we can get out of him. Looks like they got some high power weaponry over there. One asshole manning it. Try not to piss him off? No, I'm just gonna go give him a hug.
Where they got you going? <coughs> Clearing up ahead. Uh, two, two, maybe three clicks. Merc motherfuckers. Could be a hike. Better grab a ride. What happens if Aldridge gets out in the wild with his nuke? According to the Mad Doctrine, the only thing keeping us from full-scale nuclear annihilation is knowing there's enough nukes between us and the Soviets to wipe out the planet. Mutually assured destruction. Mad, it's our failsafe. But if a single nuke falls into the wrong hands, some rogue actor, that's where the boat starts tipping, and all bets are off. So what you're saying is you have no idea? Not a goddamn clue. You got a plan? If I can get up on that ridge over there and catch those assholes off guard and they save us some trouble. All right. Guess that leaves a low ground for me. Little help out. Oh, hey. Watch the personal space. God damn. From here, that plane looks like it's barely holding together. Oh, come on. You scared? Motherfucker, you know how I feel about planes. Yeah, but this one's already crashed. Fuck you for even saying that. Dead asshole coming up. He's not making it off the island. Thank you is all you really need to say. Just making it easy for you down there. Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh man. There's a 
turret here. Resist, brother, resist. Shit. Okay, fine. I'll cover you from here. Throw me a Could signal and throw me an open fire. Roger that. All I'm saying is, if we slid us through this sleep, ain't no one dropping a tear for him. Maybe not. But being a asshole ain't a reason to kill a man. Are you fucking serious? Murdering assholes for... Was it... Now let's hit these cocksuckers with all we got! They're killing our people! After you, Pansy. <laughs> God damn it! He beat us here. Well, he couldn't have gone far with that thing. Don't fucking move. The two of you. Turn around slowly. There's a warhead. Mr. Aldrich is going to be real happy to see the two of you. Hey, shift for brains. I asked you a goddamn question. Where's the nuke? Ask me again, boy. <laughs> 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 
What's Aldridge doing? But the war! Ah! Hmm? He's got a contact huh? in the NBA. Some general. He's paying big money for it. Motherfucker! I swear it's the truth. What? Is Aldridge down for selling a nuke to the NBA? Well, if you remove a man's moral compass, loyalty to his home country, and then fill it up with anger and resentment, you'd be surprised what you can get him to do.
work back there. I've had some good training. End of the line. We'll walk the rest. A nuke to the NBA. All just really crazy enough to do that? Crazy enough? No. Angry enough? Maybe. There goes a nuke. Is that a... Those commie motherfuckers did it. They built a goddamn base, missile silo and all, right off our own coast. We need to get down there. Stay close. So none of your spook pals knew about this base? No idea. Chatter about plans for it, sure. But no confirmation that they'd ever started, let alone gotten this far along. Hold up, listen. Be a lot faster if we could ditch the gear. Blow the site. Negative. Osrich doesn't want to more than we already have. Roger that. We'll get it done. Over and out. That one's mine. Cover me. Jesus, you're through. Feels like I ought to get a tetanus shot once we're out of here. The warhead must have gone into this elevator. Podvanai Bokta. Shit. Which goes straight down to a submarine bay. That must be how he's getting the nuke off the island. How do we get down there? Looks like the red service line on the ground will lead there. <sighs> red. Of course it's red. What do we do now? Can't exactly knock and ask him to give the nuke back. No. But I can hotwire those doors, probably get them open 30, 40 seconds tops. All right. I'll cover. Christ, Matt, was that you? Uh, maybe. Mother fuck. I ought to let him shoot your ass. I said maybe. Either way, it's probably gonna get real popular around here. Fuck. Just get the goddamn door open. Give your heart to Jesus. Shit, 
Man, that guy's a dick. Brother, you don't know the half of it. He's full of shit, right? Yeah, of course he is. You heard what they did in that CIA shot. How they got that pilot. I don't want to die in this goddamn bunker. We won't. <laughs> Quiet as a mouse. We've been spotted. Whatever it takes, lad. I don't like. Dead before he hit the floor. And what's it? No backfire. Oh, <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. They never got it done. This thing couldn't launch Fidel into Khrushchev's asshole. God. Down! They're in the wind. Oh, he's very dead. My friend Tommy? Got him now! Shoot him from the side! They should be through there. I don't know, man. You sure this will take us to the submarine bay? Are you doubting my ability to translate Russian? Hell yeah. I'm absolutely doubting it. Closer, come on! Got him now!
Finish. Finish this. Oh. I'll be outside. <coughs> you're like... You're like a goddamn cockroach, you know that? <laughs> oh. What the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States. In wartime, no less. <sighs> NVA are no enemies of mine. <coughs> Same with the VC. And that's why you decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them are scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. They just want to make it home alive. The problem is they get home and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole who got a deferment for heel spurs. So, you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? <laughs> 
And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both broke off the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. You talked to me about killing American soldiers? Brother, the fucking U.S. government's been doing that! <sighs> and for what? God, I used to admire you! Thought you represented everything great about this country! But you are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else! There are no dominoes, Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? It appears so. Come on. Let's get that warhead out of here. I'll get those doors open. Let's go, buddy. Get in. What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, afraid you were gonna say that. Hey, we're ready. Bring the bird around. Rotorhead 1, moving into position. So that's your bird! Didn't I say trust me?
don't mean to pry, but you mind telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Oh, Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I'm famished. Hey, how about we stop for some shrimp po' boys? Ugh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? Who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor. Come on in. Don't mind the smell. <laughs>